welcome to a new vlog and the trip report and today we're traveling with the light rail of Cologne, the Cologne Stadtbahn and we are going to different destinations today. We are starting at the main station of Cologne going firstly to Niel Sebastianstraße and then we are continuing on to Thielenbruch and back to the city center of Cologne. We're starting at the main station as I said right next to the cathedral which we can see here and now we're heading into the main station going down to the station Dom main station. There's a second station at the main station but this is the one that you can reach directly from the station building. And now we can take a look at the train traffic here. Also traveling with different trains today. The first one is a B80D, which is one of the oldest trains currently used. And with that one, we are going now to Niel Sebastianstraße. The main topic and main train of this video is the B100S, which we will see later on, which is a reconstruction of a train type similar to that one we are traveling right now with. You will see later on that there are quite a lot of similarities between those two trains, even though they are not exactly the same. We are now going back with the next train, just a few stations, and therefore we are taking a newer train, which is a K5000. And here I'm changing the trains, just going directly to the next train, going back a few stations to Amsterdamer Straße Gürtel, where I will change from line 16 to line 13. As you can see, the interior of the trains is not very comfortable. They are using plastic seats, which is due to vandalism, of course but it's obviously not very comfortable, unfortunately. And before we are reaching Amsterdamer Straße, we can now listen to the sound of the K5000. Now I'm changing trains, going to the upper station where I will continue with the line 13 and here we can see the train arriving. This is yet another K5000, which is the main type of the Stadtbahn Cologne. And we are now heading to the station Slavistraße, which we are reaching right now. Here we are meeting with the line 18, with a quite interesting intersection, which we can see here. And then we are going with both lines together over the river Rhine. Usually line 13, which I am on right now, is only going to Hohlweide. But uh, due to a missing staff and a lot of staff being ill at the moment, there were a few changes and in this case the line 13 was continuing on to Thielenbruch instead of the line 18. So I can stay in my train going all the way to the end of the line in Thielenbruch. Here we have the station uh, Mülheim Wiener Platz and this is a changing station here. You can change the line 4. The line 4 will be topic of an upcoming video as I've tried to travel with the newest train the HF6 which didn't work because today a lot of these trains of the new type HF6 were used on the line 4 so I tried on the next day 
by traveling on a line 4, but on that day they changed the age of 6 to the line that I'm on right now, so that was a bit of bad luck, but there will be another video in the future at one point where I will also show you the newest train of the Stadtbahn Cologne. So in this case I will focus on the B100S which we will see on my way back to the city center of Cologne. Here on the route to Tielenbruch we are mostly traveling through the urban areas of Cologne so this is not a very spectacular railway line but the final stop of the line, the station of Tielenbruch is quite nice and spectacular and we are now slowly reaching Tielenbruch before we can take a look at the interior of the K5000. Here we can see a B100S, which we will take later on on our way back. And now we are reaching the station of Tielenbruch. And as you can see, it is a terminus station with a proper station building which is quite unusual for a light rail. This is a very interesting building. Here we can take another look at the K5000 interior and then we can take a look at the station as well, of course. So this is quite a big station as well with two platforms and four tracks, completely covered in a very nice building. Here on the right side is the entrance to a railway museum, which I would have loved to visit, but it was unfortunately closed on that day. And also the exit is quite interesting because you leave the station through an older car of the Stadtbahn Cologne. There's also a stop outside of the station but it is not used regularly. There used to be a railway line continuing on from here to Bergisch Gladbach but that one is also not in use anymore. And now we can take a look at my new train, the B100S, arriving here at the final stop Thielenbruch and some other trains. And now I'm taking the B100S. At first we can take a look at the interior. As you can see, it is not a very new train. It was just refurbished, but actually it was rebuilt pretty heavily. So the exterior is completely new. They also removed one of the driver's caps. So there's only one in each train because they're always used with two trains together. And therefore I'm sitting right now in the former cap where I now can enjoy this wonderful view. Of course I can only enjoy it if the train is empty as trains of a light rail or a metro are always pretty crowded also in this case. So I could just film this view when the train was still empty without having people sitting opposite of me. Of course I couldn't film them all the time so that's why we can only enjoy this view here at the beginning of the line where the train was still pretty empty. We're now heading back the same way that we came from until Buchheim and from there we are going to take a different route. But now it's time to listen to the sound of the B100S. So as I said, it's quite an interesting uh, concept and that is because this train is actually almost 40 years old, but it has been rebuilt so that it is still a modern and reliable train. That is quite a nice idea to not scrap old trains, but to rebuild them so they are fit for the future, which is cheaper than buying new trains and also a bit more reliable as new trains do usually have their problems in the beginning. So this is also quite an interesting idea to refurbish all the trains to keep them in service. 
We're now leaving the railway line that we've already seen on our way to Tierenbruch, continuing now on the line 3 and as you can see we are now a proper tram. And that is the typical idea of a Stadtbahn, it's a combination of a metro or underground and a tram. So at some parts we are above the ground just like a regular tram, at some points we are a light rail and our own track and at some points we're traveling like an underground, mostly in the city center of Cologne. Here on our way into the city center there seemed to be some kind of problem as there was a big traffic queue of trains. So we got a bit of delay here and here we can see an HF6, the newest type, which I tried to travel on but unfortunately that didn't work out. So there will be an extra video later on about the HF6. We're now close to the station Messe Deutz, Cologne Messe Deutz or Trade Fair is one of the two most important stations. And we are now above the river Rhine, crossing it again. And after that we are going into a tunnel, past the station of Neumarkt to Appellhofplatz, which is where I left this train. Appellhofplatz is few minutes of walking or one station away from the main station where I started this journey. Here we are now going into the tunnel and from there on there's not too much to see so we will just see my train arriving at the station of Appellhofplatz and then we can take a look and listen to the sound of the train again when it's leaving the station there. And that's already it for this video. In the next video we will see date 3 and 4 of my Cruise with the Excellence counters. And then in the following video we will see the second part of this video where I will travel to Schlebusch on the line 4. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please consider to comment, like or share the video link. If you want to see more train videos make sure to follow and I hope to see you in my next video.